Hey guys, and happy Wednesday, hump day, and I thought I'd do something a little bit different for you guys today, just to get you over that hump in the middle of the week. Something I was just watching here that I did with a couple of friends a little while ago, and it was very funny, I must admit, we had a lot of fun, but if you guys haven't met these two clowns, <laughs> this is Plucky from Sailing Into Freedom, and James from Sailing Zingaro, and I met up with them in Linton Bay, we all got together because James was doing a Zoom call with some of his friends and patrons, so they invited me into it, and we ended up sitting there for quite a while. But these guys, if you don't already know, are both YouTubers with sailing channels, and we talked about everything from sailboats to sinking boats to crew to just crazy situations that we've experienced in the past. You name it, it's all in there. The whole conversation is about an hour and a half long. I didn't want to put the whole thing here because it's on James' channel. But I put in about 15 or 16 minutes or so that you guys can enjoy. And if you like it and want to see more, I'll put in links in the description below that will take you to James' channel where the video is and also over to Plucky's channel, Sailing Into Freedom, if you haven't seen him either because they're both really cool characters. And I'm sure you're going to see them again. So anyway, enjoy this part of the video. And like I said, find the links in the description below if you want to see the rest. Enjoy. Talk to you guys in the next episode. Over and out. We're going to talk about um, how we both got here, what made us uh, decide to go to Panama again, and then what our plans are in the future. Also, uh, what our immediate plans are in the next like month. So we're planning on going to Sound Blast. Actually, Rick is planning on going to Sound Blast as well. So we might uh, meet him there. Right, bud? Yeah? You guys want to come join us? You guys are looking yeah, really chummy over here. Yeah, please, please you know? join there's us. There's plenty of room they on this. They got a ring on their finger yet? Yeah, there's plenty of... <laughs> they call it a love seat yeah, for there, a reason. There's plenty of room on this couch, right? Wait, God, it's lovely. <laughs> it's, it's too uh, small for me. Well, it's, it's too much love. All right. So, uh, yeah, what, what's everybody's immediate plan here? Are you going to the boat show? I haven't done boat shows since I bought my boat. Really? You don't need to be looking at boats anymore, huh? No, I don't look at boats anymore. No, I'm happy with the lady. She's good, but... No, I understand it's all the other It's a sophisticated channels. lady. You should come on my boat. It's an unsophisticated lady. Hey, I've watched you, too. I, I felt really bad when you got hit by lightning, dude. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's all good, didn't see? So, wait, what happened look with at that? The, wait, wait, wait. Look whoa. at the positive people. What happened with it? Well, didn't it, like, blow lady. the shaft log out? Got, got a knee of friends. And you know how, like, friends like to give other friends the runaround? Well, God liked to give me a bit of a run. And so he, he had a bit of fun and he then put a twist in it so I couldn't work out where the hole was, which was like me pulling my hair out. But the boat didn't go down. So wait, still I, I still don't really understand where the hole was. It, it, it went down the, the mast, okay, so went into the shaft. It went down the left hand. My, okay, to understand my boat, my boat was built by a crazy Frenchman. It wasn't in a mold because he was poor ass. He actually <laughs> made a frame out of... Uh, uh, aluminium window, you know, uh, right, material, so and then he made this frame, and then he glassed over it, and then filled it full of dodgy foam. So way I figure it, it travelled down, got into the frame, went around the left hand side of the boat because it blew out some LED lights on the left hand side, not the right hand side. Knocked out my drone, didn't knock out my GoPros. Oh, then right. got into the motor, blew out the alternator. Then got into the shaft. Now, when it hit the shaft, I think it just heated up the water like immensely, and the gas just blew out the bottom of the boat. So there was a hole in the bottom of the boat. But that wasn't the problem, people. It wasn't the problem, and that was the, the hole thing. In the bottom of the boat wasn't no, it wasn't the problem because <laughs> I dived down and I went, "Oh, there's a hole. I'll just plug it." And so I plugged it, and then I got back going, "Oh." I'm feeling wait, quite wait, well, proud stop, of myself. Stop. But usually the problem don't... is the holes you can't see. They're like really, really fine. Oh, yeah, you know, that, there was no little, well, there was little micro fractures. But yeah, I was stopped. Okay, 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 okay. So what I want to know is, okay, here's the hull of the boat. Here's the shaft log that's going up through the hull of the boat. Yeah. It's two separate things. What exactly broke? Okay, so there's, I'm going to call it a stern tube. It's a shaft lock. Right, shaft lock. Right. It's a solid piece. I didn't know where I was looking and I didn't know where it terminated. All I saw when I jumped in, I've got a hole in the boat. I know my battery's dying. My motor alternator is not working. So it's going to be me, me build pumping until some gooner comes past 
and knocks on the boat and I can yell at him because all my electronics is gone. So I had to, I saw the hole and I went, oh. Where was the hole? The hole was just the start of that stern tube. That, uh, at the, at the, at the, the hole the forward end. end. Forward, forward end. end. Yeah. yeah. And so oh. I plugged it, feeling quite pleased with myself. And I got back on board going, oh, this is good. And I hear this noise. And I lifted up the engine again, and it's the same torrent of water. So wait, it's well, like I did nothing. Did, so did the did, um, did, did the bellows fall off of the shaft log, or and then you just put it back on, or, or no, no, was no, it no. actually broken? Okay, okay. Well, let me go through. So this, I didn't know where the stern tube was, or the, I didn't know. I just saw a hole in the bottom of the boat, and I plugged it, and I thought, "Come under water. Come in the water." Yeah, so I have to go in. Right? <laughs> oh, bro. That's all right. Can you imagine you go dive under your boat after lightning strike and there's a fucking hole? You know? Yeah, well, look, you see a hole, you plug it. Yeah, uh, well, it's not supposed to be there, so I plugged it. And I thought I was good. But the, what happened was I didn't know where the stern tube was. It actually electrified the stern tube and it blew off the fiberglass from the underneath. But when I was looking in the hole, all I saw, all I saw was a dark spot. I thought that's where the hole was. So I plugged it and it wasn't the problem. Oh, uh, because the... But the actual bloody uh, tripless shaft seal must have expanded all the gases and blown it apart. Yeah, yeah. But it blew it apart and it was always sitting in water. Because my boat's, you know, it's a work in progress. So what does that mean? Oh. That's somebody else. Yeah. So I couldn't see it. And it was sitting in water and it was just... Well, I... It was it had a covering on it anyway, so I didn't yeah. know about it. I just naturally assumed it was the hole, but then I had yeah. to try and find the hole, and then I eventually found it. Right. right. It was so, just God's so have you ever had any kind of hairy situations like that, Rick? I mean, I know you've been through some <laughs> shit. He's been sailing for fucking ever, like six, hey, sixteen years, right? Don't Cru date me. Cruising. For well, 16? that's just this boat. Wow. No, that's after I bought sophisticated lady. But, but not sailing, sailing, sailing but, but like. Cruising. I've been cruising for 16 years. Cruising, chartering, lived on that boat. I moved aboard that boat in May of 2005. Oh, like sold everything and left. But no, I, very yeah. cool. I did Spent that, except shit. I didn't have to sell everything. There wasn't anything to sell. <laughs> so we're exactly the same, except completely different. <laughs> there you go. There you go. No, I'm surprised. You said, but when you said your lightning strike, you lost your alternator on the engine. I just wanted to ask, did the starter fry also, or could you still start the engine? Uh, no, I could start the engine. You could start it, yeah. but you had you to start it after the lightning strike. Uh, I was moving, I, but then I had the clunking in the, the gearbox, and then I thought, oh, fuck, it's sorry. Oh, you can, you can curse about it. Oh, it's not YouTube, it's okay. Bugger. Yeah, it's just... um, <laughs> then I heard this clunk, 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 and I thought it welded two gears, or it, it, it got done, and I thought, yeah. Uh, now, if I start running, it's going to destroy some bearings, destroy some gears. So, I didn't so you shut thing. off the engine or you just disengaged the transmission? No, I, I just didn't use the motor at all. Yeah, one thing that I thought, like, you know how in retrospect, every everybody's like, oh, why didn't you just do this? And meanwhile, like, you're screwed on your yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah, but well, God, when, when I watched it later, I was like, why didn't you just, like, take the, the inlet line and use the motor as the inlet? not have to hook up all those pumps well i, I i'm not sure if i gadgets. did i'm right? not sure if i did a follow-up right video. i mean like in the in the yeah. moment yeah. <laughs> absolutely screw you you come and do it yeah <laughs> now i i think i did a video <laughs> yeah, I or i didn't you. publish the video it might have been in one of the six i can't remember but Everybody yes i said great, it would have been better <laughs> to use the inlet but there's a difference between james's boat and my boat if my boat was well when my boat was flooding Basically, it's soup. Yeah, you've got to keep your bilges clean, but uh, it would have been probably another problem. But I think that would have been better to do. Yeah, but I didn't think of that. No, I mean, and I was only thinking, you can't remember, do the motor. Everything. You're like, hey, I was thinking the motor just to charge the, the, water? charge the battery. At least, at least things. you're the type of person that like actually figures out where the water's coming. Because a lot of people, I mean, I would say, I would venture to say more than 40% of people would just be like, oh my God. I, I don't know what to do. I, I did that for about eight seconds, I think. <laughs> but you know, when the time is passing, maybe that was two and a half hours. No, it was it was short. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have the luxury. No, no, you have just, to figure it out, right? That's like oh, yeah. part of the thing, right? If you're the if you're the type of person that freezes in an emergency, 
you're going to have a really hard time. But I think I was lucky. Car. I think I was lucky. Pretty lucky. I will do. I, I, I'm not sure. I was advised against people of putting in an after video of what I did wrong because, um, but I think I should do that video. Yeah, definitely. Because, uh, <laughs> quite frankly, well, a people lot of people learn. had a you lot can... of positive comments about my performance, and I think I would uh, absolutely destroy those positive comments quite quickly. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, because I, I stuffed things up and I. Um, well, no, think about it this way. Fuck the comments and fuck the people that are like naysayers. But like this is you a gotta learning. Do what you this is a learning experience yeah. for other people. Yeah. Like then, look, look, learning experiences yeah. from getting hit by lighting almost seeing a boat. This is what I did wrong. Yeah. This is what I did right. You yeah. use some of the footage that you had. Absolutely you right. It would, be, it would be such a good. Video. I was also on the hard and I'd I was working watching. on the hard and I thought and I said, oh bugger, I won't do it because I just didn't have the time because I was yeah. working. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, you took you taught me not to go cave diving at night. Yeah, well done. See, mine's a learning channel, people. Exactly. You, you, follow, you, you watch my channel and you go, I oh, don't yeah. do that. <laughs> uh, I don't do that either. And you know, when you're in episode two thirty three, don't do that. And two thirty one, two thirty one and a half, don't do that. Just, I'm a helpful person. You're welcome. Literally you're the welcome. shit out of me. Watching that, it scared the shit out of me. Well, it sort of scared me a bit when I couldn't find my way out for a little bit, but then it was okay. It's, remember, people, a lot of negative comments were about how terrible I, you know, how bad I am, how irresponsible, how all of this. Mine is not the wisdom channel. Mine is a different type type of channel. You want wisdom? Go see another channel. It's uh, don't do this channel. Yes. This is what you ought not to do. <laughs> but let's just do it. See what yeah, I ran one of those for years too. You don't know not to do it until you've done it and somebody yeah. says don't do it. Oh, yeah. okay. I won't do it anymore. There you go. So I saw Rick's boat for the first time today. Thank you for the beers and, and allowing me on your boat. Oh, no worries. Beautiful boat. Anytime. Anytime. What year is it? It's a Juneau. It's a Juneau International 1996. It's a good boat. Looks like a looks like a good sailor. Well, it's a solid boat, but I have no idea what they were thinking when they built it. It was originally built on one of the Sun Odyssey hulls, but it's got a custom interior that was designed by Moorings because it was one of their first crude yacht boats. Ah, okay. It was like the first generation of crude yachts they employed in BVIs and in St. Lucia. And it had four cabins. You turned it into three. Right. Yeah, we forward had... cabin. Do you have any problems? Um, so just to give you guys a background, <clears throat> uh, Boats of this vintage, including mine, mine is older than his, uh, they, they really didn't think about like crew comfort. It was more like how many people can we stick in the yeah. boat? So his boat originally was designed with a V berth that was split in half to be two different rooms. And he got rid of the wall and made it into one big cabinet. It really? looks awesome. It looks really That's a good nice. idea. I mean, it, it, is a, done that. it is a big bed, bro. Yeah, but the first thing you're gonna ask me probably is, was I worried about the instability of losing the bulkhead? that and is it is sleeping forward of the end of the boat worse than sleeping on the aft oh, definitely end of the boat. definitely worse i sleep in the front i just got it's all crap i mean it's good it's a working practice we don't know? sleep up there if we're sailing too much if the boat's really bucking yeah then we tend to sleep in one of the aft cabins because off watch that's the most comfortable place to be the boat's moving less at the back of the boat yeah but yeah when we're at anchor and living aboard it's the most comfortable seat in the boat for sure but that vintage of bow, like you were saying, is also designed to have that bulkhead. It was put in for the primary purpose of when it performed as a charter boat. When you were done with the charter boat, it was designed for the owners to take it out and convert back to a master suite. Oh, really? Because the original design of the boat was always an open fort. Oh, so you have that a, a thwart ship's uh, bulkhead that provides the stability, and that one is just kind of like an extra. Yeah, that one was purely. It's, it's like, it, it's like it, it, yeah, it's like a, a, a partition. Uh, Partition. It's to a get, partition, yeah. To get more crew on, that's all. It was put in after the fact, and it wasn't glassed in. It was glued in, but not glassed in, because it was meant to be removable when the owners were not going to charter it. Can I? Mm -hmm. uh, I can't. I can't can you say what? You can say whatever you want. <laughs> no, I can't. It was just glued in. So it was like a lagoon boat, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Don't, you can't be negative. You can't, can't say that. Don't say I got it. Was, lagoon is going to be very there might be a lagoon on I'm going to take that back. You know, there is, a, there is a cat owner on here, Dana. She's got a badass cat. Have you have you seen those dolphin 
cats that are built in Brazil that have deck boards. No, she's got more of it. Is it what's your bridge deck? What's your bridge deck clearance? What's your length to hull ratio? Dana, Dana, your turn, girl. I uh, I don't know all those numbers. I just know it's a good blue water performance catamaran that's overweighted. Yeah, but as all catamarans I've seen everywhere have got one and a half ton more than anything. Because they go, look at all this space. Let's shove more stuff in it. <laughs> Babe, come in here. Come I've got dagger boards too. Yes, absolutely. Oh well. There's only one way to go. Uh, is to have oh, you guys know Madalena? Say have, hi. Come here. Have a little closer. Up, a little closer. Do you have kick up brothers as well? I think we can fit you in. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we're going to have to get off the love seat. And we're going to have to <laughs> get a couple more chairs. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. Break. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Come in, babe. Congratulations. Can I touch it? Yeah. Oh, this is so awesome. I'm touch so it. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, this way. This one? Wait, what? You didn't push that. Oh. Actually, I've, got, I've got a question for Rick, if that's okay. Yeah, man. Hit it. Yes. So, so Rick, uh, yeah, but I watch your channel. I watch all, all your guys' channels. Um, just, uh, when, when you set out to, you know, sell your house and all your stuff, did you have a lot of stuff to sell? We, well, I was, I was a family guy back then too. So yeah, I mean, I was fully engulfed in cars, boats, family with house, all that kind of stuff. And at the time going through a divorce back then. So, you know, it's a big, long story. I don't know how much you want to hear. Yeah. It, but. yeah. No, I just wondered. Oh, all of it. No, no, that's the longer story than you have for your Zoom call. <laughs> well, th let me give you some background on this. He's actually selling everything as we speak. So that's where that comes from. Like, okay. how, how quickly should I sell everything and get the fuck out? Yeah. I, I, well, if you're already at that point, then the faster, the better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because otherwise, somebody's going to find now. a way to get their hooks into you and say, no, you can't go. Yeah, do it now. Just do it now. Yeah. I'm getting there. <laughs> Both you need three guitars. <laughs> yeah, and a motorbike and God knows what, you know. It's, it's all going, though. But guitars are coming with me. Guitars are coming. Yeah, I see they're back on the wall, bro. Yeah, nice they're coming with me. Yeah, yeah. He's a fantastic guitarist. Cool. So, yeah, like you guys have any questions for us? I think uh, this is the point where we'll actually get into what we're supposed to be talking about and um, tell us the sale plans. Why? I, the reason I'm here is because of these two fools. Why well, these three <laughs> or four, actually? Four. Uh, yeah. Three and a half. Three and a half. Um, <laughs> I came down here because uh, there was a bunch of sailing channels here, and I was like, ah, I want to meet all these guys. Finally, I can meet them all and go spearfishing in Sandbox, which has been amazing. The, the last week of video, I have 200 gigabytes of video that are still turning into proxies for my editor. I don't know if you remember, Plucky, but but I uh, I sent you a video when you were looking for someone to sail across the Pacific with you um what how recent oh well it was last year i think when you you know when you were looking when you were asking people to come and sail are you the double the amputee no no that's got double that's got diabetes and uh he's 73 no that's not me mate okay <laughs> just just checking because there's that guy he keeps on annoying me and i say well look <laughs> um i don't have enough needles mate otherwise <laughs> i would have picked you uh i don't care if you don't have two legs uh but yeah, the diet, needles, you know. Problem. <laughs> what? You're a joke. You're a crazy fuck. I'm not crazy. <laughs> this is a crazy guy. This is a crazy guy trying to get on my boat. And I, 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 yeah, he's not that good looking either. I think I'll lose viewers. <laughs> well, that's, that's definitely a strike against me then. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be me, my sorry face from now on. So, hey, what's everybody's plans now? I mean, like, okay, how about this one? How has COVID affected your plans? And has it made it, like, really hard to have a sailing channel? Because it's hard to go anywhere now, man. Like, COVID, COVID made my channel. What's COVID? <laughs> if it wasn't for Exile, I would have not been a channel anymore, people. 
Oh, the, definitely. The, that's your series where you were like out to see. For that's when I actually days. got people to actually watch. Yeah. Um, they wanted to help you. They're like, oh man, we feel bad. No, I think it was just a real life drama that people uh, gelled with. And um, yeah. which I mean, one? I, I think I was when on you were stuck at sea or when yeah. you were hit yeah. by lightning. No, I, stuck at sea. Well, I, I think I had fifty thousand. We were we were down one hundred and twenty bucks a week. That was all our income. That was it to do the Eastern Caribbean. And then Exile came along and it went up to $125 a week. So we're covered. Sweet. Better start experiencing right Sweet. now. So we're good. Everybody learned more luck during the coronavirus. Everybody sit in a house, uh, watch a TV, watch a YouTube channel. Remember, like us in, a, yeah. in San Andres. We Everything. were watching you from San Andres. Yeah. Right? You and you were stuck up we, on one of the islands. Yeah, right? yeah. You were only like 250 miles away from me. I know. Yeah. You, we it hurts you. me that he didn't we're come like, oh, and give me some pineapples, people. We looked at him and we thought, you. oh, he's going to come to San Andres. He sailed right past. We're like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> well, we didn't know if we could get in. Even the, the Coast Guard didn't know. Yeah, but, um, no, but if you came in and said, hey, I'm in distress, I got yeah. problems yeah. with the boat, yeah. we got no food, we got whatever. We've been they can't say no, it's humanitarian uh, Yes, they can. They said no in Jamaica. They said no in Dominica Republic and Fuck. Haiti. In so, Cuba too, right? And, and, and what you got to understand is we're losing east. Wow, that's rough if you get but, turned down by Haiti. Yeah, but if you're, <laughs> but if you're losing east, you're losing, you're losing, you're losing problems. You're, you're creating problems. Coming east is a problem. And it was coming up to hurricane season, so we didn't know. So we had to get some confirmation, which we eventually did. Okay. Yeah, we had a bunch of boats. They all pulled into San Andres, but they came yeah. in broken rudder, broken engine, something. He's not broken sail. Nine, I but... faked a steering problem, and Haiti still got us out at 11 or 12 p.m. at night on the day we arrived, and they didn't want to know shit. All they want to do is point guns at us and yell at us. Did you actually get guns pointed yeah. at you? Yeah, well, we had a spotlight, but I could hear all these people angry and yelling at us and going, get out, get out. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, disconcerting. I didn't even want to go to Haiti. In the first place, we only went there because Dominican kicked us out, and then we thought, well, well there's only a day and a half. But there's a country in between. No, yeah. Dominican or, and Haiti. No, no, that's on the other no, side. That's the other uh, side of Dominican. Uh, and that's getting east. And I tried. I didn't put that on the guys. <laughs> I tried to get around Cape Yada. I hope you carry paper charts on your boat. I had paper charts. <laughs> very, very bad. But... It's, it's the only way I found all these tiny little reefs in the middle of nowhere. I what's, can see him leaving funny. Dominican Republic going west. Going, yeah, I'm going to go to Puerto Rico. You know what's funny <laughs> is I was the navigator on the submarine. Dude. Oh, the billion dollar boat. Ouch. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. We had a guy in our boat last week. Two oh, weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. Sub sailor. Uh, Sub sailor. Yeah. 20 years underwater. Yeah, but the last two years he's left uh, yesterday. He just left. Two... So what's your uh, what's your saving plans in the future, boys and girl? I'm sorry. Oh, boy. And boy or girl? What is this? He's a boy. He's a boy. He's oh. A new captain. Well, they yeah. say 80 to 90 percent. Oh, you only get a percentage. Yeah. <laughs> no, Don't they, they like see a penis? I mean, like, that they, that's they 90 percent. It's a penis. No, they saw a penis last time very well. <laughs> yeah. That's what she time. said. You're proud. <laughs> <laughs> the first time, no, but the second time, yes. Uh, it's awesome. It's the new Captain Junior. Okay, cool. <laughs> and what's the what's the plan now? Are you guys uh, he heading back to San Andreas? Heading back no, to tomorrow San Andreas. Tomorrow we go to Turtle Key. That's the plan. Yeah, Turtle Key, <laughs> San Blas, wait the wind for San Andreas. Have a baby and are ready for the next event in Spain. Are you so excited? Is this your first job? Yeah. Hey. yeah are you scared? Are you, are you excited? Are yeah, you now that uh, freaking out. Yeah, not even And like, now you're only two about a month, left. two months to popping. I'd say one and a half. Yeah. What's the What's the craziest part about being pregnant? Like, say I was pregnant. See right your now. belly let's move like. A Really? Oh, you yeah. can see him like kicking? Yeah, he's oh, kicky, yeah. but it's very strange because you feel something inside and you you can see him. You know that he's inside. Later this morning, his head's right there. Yeah, <laughs> but he's kicky. Yeah. That's fucking he's weird. More, but you sometimes like you see your snake. belly like this. Yeah, it's like, like, it's like alien. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> No, I just I watched that the other day. It's like 80. Sorry, it's just on my mind. People, I didn't mean it. I don't mean it's bad. But... 
No, it was a very nice pregnancy time, but with some issue, everybody told me, oh, it's beautiful time. You need to remember the Really, guys, right? <laughs> She's like, okay, I'm over it. No, no, it's not beautiful. It's more like kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Right. I've it's seen only... so many new expressions of pain I never knew before. Every time she gets up, like, oh. see people sometimes. I saw you do that today. <laughs> Me? Yeah, well, I, I do that too. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I did it. It's a beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. pain. okay, so I have convinced this dude well, to no, partially. I don't know. Oh, you. oh yeah. You, I'm, yeah. Thinking, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm a fish out of water. Who who would come and see? They don't even know what I've convinced you of yet. Wait, Hold on a second. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. I want to thank James for inviting me into the conversation. This was actually the same night we had our crew jam on board Sophisticated Lady with these characters and a few more. So stay tuned for that because that's going to be coming up in the next days also. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you out there next time.